Hey, this is Coach Tyra Woodruff, the Mind Reset Coach, coming to you from my front yard, raiding you my black tea moor. I love this plant. I am on verse 7. Uh, yesterday, I don't know what happened. I accidentally skipped over, and I don't know what happened. And there was a fly in my ear. <laughs> it's perfect. I got my granddaughter here with me, as you can see. Little Stella, she's trying to get away. Okay, I'm going to read the verse and talk about what I feel. This is a really excellent verse, I guess, if I was to have judgment on it. Thank you. Heaven is eternal, the earth endures. Why do heaven and earth last forever? They do not live for themselves only. This is the secret of durability. For this, for this reason, the sage puts himself last, so he ends up ahead. He stays a witness to life, so he endures. Serve the needs of others, and all your needs will be fulfilled. Through selfless action, fulfillment is attained. Now, the one thing that I, I can immediately feel people thinking is, is it selfless, selfless if I am doing it because I know that I'm going to attain? Well, yes, it is. Because you are part of the eternal Tao. You are part of the creation. So when you achieve, others achieve. And by you helping others achieve, you achieve. So don't let yourself feel guilt. Because I, I find often in like um, Christianity and so forth, and maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm not that people feel guilt for pursuing themselves. Now, let me get into a little bit what Dr. Wayne Dyer said here. Um, first, another awesome verse by um, Hafiz. I, I love that. Yeah. Everyone is God speaking. Why not be polite and listen to him? Stop the chase and be a witness. The more you pursue desires, the more they elude you. Now what that means is the more that you focus on what you want in the outcome, the more that it becomes impossible for you to achieve because you wanting it shows the universe or the Tao that you don't have it yet. That's extremely powerful. So stop focusing on that. Like we said in the very first verse, write down specifically what it is that you desire and let it go and continue to just be. Try letting life come to you and begin to notice the clues that create that you crave. Notice the clues that what you crave is on the way. You down. Stay appreciative of all that you receive, knowing as it flows from an all-providing source. For instance, last night I was uh, stressed out. I was just about to go to bed, and I, I got really stressed, and I it was driving me crazy. Come here, Stella. She's putting on lip gloss. She's so cute. And all I had to do, and I'm so appreciative that I'm able to do this, was just sit there for a moment and appreciate my life. Appreciate that I'm in a bed. Appreciate that I have shelter. Appreciate that. Yeah. And appreciate everything that I just, that I already have. When you're in a state of appreciation instead of a state of wanting all the time, you actually have more than what you think you have. So let me go ahead and finish up another thing. My granddaughter is trying to run away. Um, by holding back ego's demands, even for a few moments, you will feel more fulfilled. So, one of the exercises he gives to us is like, say you're in a car with your loved one, and they turn down a road that you would not, they go down a road that maybe you wouldn't normally choose if you were driving, or they pass by that parking spot that you, you got. Practice this. Practice just letting it be, and being alright with the choice that they made, because then you're going to receive more. Bet you anything? The route that they decide to take is going to show you more beauty than you would have expected. Maybe the parking spot will even be closer than you imagined. So allow yourself to be in a constant state of receiving by letting go of what it is you desire so that you can live the life that you want. That's verse 7. Go on, continue to the blog post because that's where we're going to get into even more in depth onto this subject. And if you're ready, if you feel me and you're ready to start working with me right now, Click the first link in the YouTube description box. That's going to bring you to your first step. And if you're ready to go on over and read the blog, that call to action will be somewhere in the blog post as well. Sorry. I love you all. This is Coach Tara. <laughs> Bye.